644 and in business news, the stock market suffered a midweek dive. Wednesday, the Dow Jones Industrial Average lost about 17 points. No doubt you already know July is a hot month, and you know July has been a dry month. But did you know July is National Ice Cream Month? Well, now you do. And in celebration of National Ice Cream Month, we have with us this morning John Harrison, the man with the million-dollar taste buds. John is manager of flavor development for Edie's Grand Ice Cream, and his taste buds are actually insured for a million bucks? Correct. Doggy. <laughs> now, what's on, what's on taste buds that could be worth a million dollars? Well, uh, I company saw in my ability uh, to taste, uh, develop new flavors, and also work with our employees on the sensory evaluation. So we don't make cottage cheese, sour cream, buttermilk, all the other dairy products, just premium ice cream. So they... Uh, and Maybe. you can taste the difference. Oh, yes. Uh, all the way up here, the top notes. Uh, when we eat, we're in this area. But I'm tasting way up here on the top, so I stay away from the spicy foods and kind of protect my, uh, my buds. Good taste buds have given you a nice voice. Thank you. That comes from eating Edie's ice cream. <laughs> oh, it does. <laughs> what, are, what are some of the new flavors, some, well, uh, something uh, different? Well, what we have really going uh, now in, uh, is people are lightening up, Dave. Uh, some of the, uh, the classic, uh, the high test, the mother is kind of taking a beating. But overall sales are up. Uh, the light ice creams, the low-fat frozen yogurts, the cholesterol-freeze, the non-fat frozen yogurts. So we're seeing a, about um, a 50-50 now, a ratio between premium ice creams and then the low-fat. Wow. Well, now we want to we want to test. We've got uh, four different kinds of ice cream out here. Yes. One of them is Edie's ice cream. Okay. And and. He's going to be able to tell. Now close your eyes for a second okay. while I mix these around. Right. And he's not going to. We're not going to tell him which one is Edie's. Pretty sneaky, huh? All right. Okay. Now, John, uh, he's going to taste them and use those. These are those four buds. different um, types of vanilla, uh, but all ice cream okay. and uh, all considered uh, good quality product. And what I'm looking for as an ice cream taster, uh, Dave, is. Uh, Kind of uh, two words when it comes to body and texture. Can you see that spoon? He's got a gold spoon there. I take it right off the top because that's the warmest, and then invert it, cover my taste bud, roll it around, bring the aroma back to the nose, the top note. That fine balance between the cream, the dairy, in other words, the sugar, sweeteners, and that pure vanilla. Mm. Is that the way we mm. should be eating this? Well, uh, it's all right. <laughs> I'm you know, some people like to stir it up um, in their bowl. Oh, that's good. That's good. Now roll around. Oh, wait, now, a good mustache. ice cream taster doesn't swallow. Uh oh, it's already gone. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's not Here's necessary it. to swallow to taste. But we're going to do it here. Okay, that's good. All right, good moves. <laughs> now, <laughs> that one uh, is Breyer's ice cream. That one's a, a typical, uh, more refreshing, uh, a little cooler. Uh, there He's you right. Go. Yes. He's right. Okay. All right. Now let's go to the next one. And uh, here again uh, on flavor, we're looking. Mm. I'm gonna dry that. Looking for the top note. Cream. Mm. A little smoother now. You're gonna find this one's a little smoother than the last one. A little creamier. That's good. <laughs> it just seems weird to smack eat ice cream that way. Yeah, smack your lips. And when you, when you <laughs> smack your lips... You're, you're, I tell the kids not to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but for ice cream, it's okay to do that. That's a good product. Uh, that's excellent. That's, uh, <laughs> well, I think we know uh, which one that yeah, is. That's a smooth one. That's a creamy one. Okay. Mm. All right. Now. We're trying this now. How, how much should you put in your mouth at one it's time? It's a small amount. Oh, it doesn't wonder. take much. That's good. Right there. That's good. Okay. Now the vanilla, the flower that grows on the vanilla bean vine is the orchid flower. So when you describe vanilla, you're looking for that a pungent, sweet, aromatic. That's a vanilla mm. bean. Vanilla bean. And boy, does it smell good, Isn't too. that marvelous? Yeah, really does smell good. Okay, we got one more. Okay, and then the last one. All right. Just a big reach. Okay. And uh, here. Okay. Here we go. Mm -hmm. This is kind of fun. We could taste this all day. Mm -hmm. you know? Again. By 6.49 in the morning, we're eating ice cream. Huh? Mm. Mm. I'm getting pretty good at this, you know. Very nice products. All, All right. the way down the line. And of course, as you said, yes, Edie's. Edie's. And then uh, this one is going to be uh, Hagen dazs okay. and then Seal Test, rounding out the, uh, the, the four. He got them.
We got that's how to taste ice cream. Isn't that something? What's the, the, the best selling uh, flavor? Excuse well, me. Well, well, vanilla hands. is still number one. It's king. You're looking at about 30% uh, of the total volume sold is vanilla. Number two, as most people would guess, is chocolates with an S like Rocky Road, Chocolate Fudge Moose, Chocolate Fudge. Number three used to be strawberry, vanilla chocolate strawberry. Strawberry now has dropped down to the fourth position. Number three, and the first time in the history of ice cream on Nut Flavor Dave has gotten into the top five, butter pecan. Whoa. And then number five, rounding out the top five, is what I call the birthday party flavor, is Neapolitan, vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. I never <laughs> liked Neapolitan. I, I don't know why, but I never uh, did. Uh, John Harrison, Edie's Ice Cream. This is a lot of fun, and, and if you think we had fun now, the crew, it, they can't wait. It's going to happen. We're going to all be eating with our spoons upside it's down. Mm. <laughs> Next in sports, Dick Ray has news from the ballparks, plus some college-bound football players preparing for a big game this weekend. That and more coming up.